How's it going guys? Thanks for clicking on today's video. So today's video is not a ride. We're going to do a how-to video of fitting brake pads. And Kyle is going to talk you through it and show you how it's done. Because <laughs> I work in a bike shop. <laughs> so we've got 6mm to uh, take the axle off. Which we're doing front or back first. Uh, we'll do rear. Uh, so we're going to take the axle off. Yeah, put them really tight then. Got to. Right. See that? No. So we're going to reuse no. the pins no. for this one. No. Right. So what you do no. is you, re you bend the pin <laughs> yeah, like and then slip it out. This one's been in, put in an angle, so usually you'd be able to take it out really easily. But this one's been in a, put in a stupid angle, so I have to snip, snip. This one happened in my mind. And we've got new pins, haven't yeah. we? So. Oh, just get that out of the way, Right, so now you get the pin out. One thing I don't want to do is get it stuck. They're in quite tight, aren't they? Yeah, they're always sh because the thing is you've got you've Shouldn't got a triangle in the way. Not easier taking this off. You can take half off. Then I'll lose your spaces. Come so what we could do is just loosen that. You get the shorter one. It's like the best 20 quid about this, won't you? And what can do. So doing the pads we don't actually have to bleed them, do we? No. Just spin it around like that. And then we can get the take it out. One bit. A little bit. So for this one, I'm using the B B zero one S. B O? Yeah, B zero one S. These are for the MT two hundreds. So you got your spring and you got your pads there. Let's get them ones out. Just before we do that, just pause. I need to go. We have a special tool at work. But we need to put the pistons back. So when you put your new pads in, because you've got more meat yeah. on that, so it just doesn't be weird. So here we are, we've got B01S, same pads. You've got a little bit on that, not much, and you've got a lot on that. So it's, I won't say it's worth keeping them, it's worth keeping one, just yeah. in case one Just in case pad. one falls off when you're out. I mean, it's really rare to happen. So, you get the new pads. Don't worry about getting oil. So on. why why is uh, one side worn down more than the other? Um, it's usually because the piston. Because um, usually the pistons, they don't retract, especially on like the cheap brakes. They don't usually retract. Like, it's hard to explain. <laughs> 
that's basically <laughs> it. They just don't retract. Yeah. Um, and also, it's the uh, rotor because usually that side um, gets. Because yeah, because the um, this side usually has less pad because the uh, the fluid because that's where it comes in. Right. And then there's like the fluid joins together. So the pistons on then, this yeah. side. So that pad would have been worn out more than that one. Because that one retracts a lot better yeah. than that one. And I'm probably totally wrong. There's probably one like mechanic on here. <laughs> well, sure. if there is, they'll, I'm sure they'll leave a comment on that I'm as sure now. they will. So I just want to get the right one. Yeah, that's right. So, at the beginning, I usually thought <laughs> that went there. No, it does not. It goes in. Here. Like that. And then you get the other one. And you do the same. So that's how you do it. That's a spring, so it retracts. Like that. And they're usually fiddly to get back in. And this is why we push the pistons back, because if we didn't, they would have been a bit fiddly, but usually, they go in pretty easy. So now we get our pin. And then we'll stick it in this way this time. So it's easier to get out next time. Yeah. And then we do spin the pin that way. Try not to damage your cow. I just need to. I don't think there's any bigger pins. Have a look. Any big ones. No, they don't seem to fit right through there. Mm, no, they do. It's just to stop them. Because you've got two different types. You've got one with uh, an Allen key one, and then you've got like a an Allen key there, and then you've got like a little clip there. You take the clip out, and then you do undo it. Usually, it is on tight. Um, that's because of the thread lock. Uh, so you undo that, take it out, and then the pads just fall out or come out from the top. That's on hope. Uh, when you tighten it back up, don't over tighten it because you'll just um, you'll just break something. That's the only thing you don't want to break is your brake. <laughs> you don't want to break your brake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Can't get it. It's really fiddly. Or was it to go in from the other side then? Oh yeah, got it. So all that does, now that it's bent, just won't come out. Keeps pistons in place. Not pistons, pads. Right, so now we need to retighten it. We're not gonna tighten it fully because we need to um, realign the caliper. Right, so now we get your wheel back in, I'll do this way. They do have like a little lock thing. The, the thing is, a slight little knock, and it just comes back. Yeah. Always a pain. Right, so now it's yeah. in. Let's grab us an axle. <laughs> Don't forget your axle. <laughs> and stick it in. Really proud of that. Haven't you got a knock? There you are. Ten newton meters. There you are. That's ten newton meters. Yeah, it shouldn't really over tighten because what it does is it crushes the bearings, and I've done that with practice. Uh, so now what we do is just put the um, chain back on. It can be sometimes a pain in the ass, especially when it's come out of chain now. There it's on. And then take it off that clutch. And just get it so it's properly on. And then there we are. So, uh, 
You need to tighten the caliper up. As you can see, it's wiggling. It's not tight. Right, so we need to tighten the caliper. So there, it is loose, obviously. So the way I do it is I hold the, press the lever in. Press the lever. In. Oh, need to press it. Usually, nah, wait, just let me untighten it. Tighten it a little bit more. I'm just not happy with how it's. really loose now. Let's push them pistons back. Right, come on, press the lever. Keep hold of it while you're tired. Yeah. Better? Yeah. And it works. A little bit of rub. But once well, when that, you bed them in. Wear out that, won't it? When you bed them in. So I'm gonna take the wheel out. Obviously. And then push the pistons back. So if you wanna get an angle here. Yeah. No, 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 come here from where the piston is there. See if you can see the piston on, right? So I'll we'll push that back in. See that go back in then. There we are. Right, so that's back in. Now it's easy this one because we've got nothing stopping. So we won't cut this one, we'll reuse this one. So you can take one on the trail, just in case it comes the out. Pen, yeah. So you twist it there, you get your clippers, or whatever they're called, they're cut pliers. Right, and then it should just slide out like that. Put that on the ground. And then let's take your pads out. So these were the ones that you're on. Still a little bit. Probably got to go about a few miles on them. Yep, Pull spring. Comparison. <laughs> No, a lot cleaner. Yeah, for now. Yeah, so you've not got much left, and not like me, I, I go through pads, buddy. I'm surprised I've not gone through them bloody hot ones yet. I'm always on brakes. Well, you, you're not really a brake guy, are you? <laughs> so you for that, and you, you know, get down as quick as you can. It's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now we can stick them in. They've been really kind with me today. Usually they're like, pass it together. And then you put your pins back through. And just bend that back, like that. There you are. You shouldn't really need to adjust this one, so we've not undone the caliper. You get your axle, just tease it in. 
wheel, stick it in. Get your axle, get your torque wrench, torque it up to uh, about 10 newton meters, I always torque it up to. meters uh, can't really see the difference off that but yeah once you bed them in they'll be really good we take your responsibility Wes if you break yeah <laughs> <laughs> I got down quicker than Donna <laughs> but uh, that's your brakes done. So guys, the brakes are done. Uh, I hope you've learned something. I certainly have. Uh, so cheers, Kyle, for that. No problem. So yeah, if you ever need to change your brakes, watch this video. I hope it uh, helps a lot, and I will catch you guys next time. Keep pedaling.